some children under the age of 18 are staying with their younger brothers and sisters. Parents are no more there, some parents have died, some parents are away. Those children, they stay by themselves. Finding, trying to find a way of surviving. Those are what we call the child-headed household. My name is Veli Mofukeng. I'm working as a community coordinator for Save the Children in Dishabe. This morning we're on the way to meet a child care for a member uh, who's going to take us to a house where a 15-year-old boy is caring for his sick mother. CCF stands for Child Care Forum and it was started by the government and that's how it got started uh, as a group of volunteers going from house to house to identify orphans and vulnerable children. The Child Care Forum can help by identifying children in the households. So they do the referrals, speak to the municipalities, speak to the councillors, and refer people and try and involve the government. Because Save the Children might be here for some time and go away, and the work will be gone. But if we train those locally based volunteers, then the work will be sustained. Um, although he's having a lot of problems, he's not the only boy who's suffering those problems. There are many others. And now the CCF member has just put him into the register and he'll be receiving regular visits. And uh, also he'll be receiving a basic nutritious food, food parcels containing millimil, beans, sugar, a lot of other nutritious uh, things inside.
problems facing the children at our school is poverty. And I think in the whole of South Africa, poverty, especially in Eastern Free State, is the most problem. The future of the learners is from the school. Every learner who has to do something in future must get the basics from the school. The vegetable garden, we started it last year. This year, February, when you get support from Save the Children, we expanded the garden through the assistance of parents and learners themselves. They are helping the garden to have good vegetables. Learners are getting food at school. Like today, we prepared spinach and porridge, so they are going to have a meal today. So they are actively uh, <laughs> interested to attend school because they know they are going to get something. Even though at home there's nothing, but at school they are going to get something for the stomach. If a learner comes from the family where the parent is HIV positive, we as educators, we ought to play our role to teach uh, learners and parents too that HIV is like flu or any other diseases. So they mustn't uh, interfere the, the, the relationship between the children. They must just play together, do whatever together without any fear. But the only thing is that we must teach them how to take care of those who are HIV positive.